When we look at the concept of evil and the definition given to it by psychology, by different religions and so on, it's a pretty heavy concept. And usually it's related to some kind of negative thinking, negative action, some action that wants to harm someone else, sometimes a real desire to destroy someone and so on. So we'd like to find out what exactly is evil. According to the wisdom of Kabbalah, what is evil? A thought which is entirely directed to one's own benefit, and if so, it is directed to the detriment of others. Because we live in a society where we're all interconnected, and if I'm thinking to my own benefit, then for sure it's at the expense of others. Therefore, evil isn't about what do I cause and how I cause it to others, but it's about the extent to which I think about myself, about my own benefit. So this is the definition of the wisdom of Kabbalah, that evil is a result of a person thinking about himself and not thinking about others, and this is considered evil. Now, we see that when we're talking about evil in our world, we see that sometimes there is a certain intention to harm others, it's something malicious. What is this desire that exists in man to make others suffer? Because then a person elevates himself, he feels that he benefits because he always weighs himself, measures himself in relation to others. And therefore, he always wants to be higher than others, stronger, more successful. And that makes a person feel alive, that he exists. Otherwise, if I'm less than everyone else, I'm rejected by everyone and so on, then it's better to die than live this way. So much so. And so a person has no choice. As long as he exists in his corporeal nature, he has to try and be better than others. 